Hi, my name is Julia. I'm a product manager for Firebase. And I'm James, a developer relations engineer for Firebase. We're going to show you how to run dynamic web apps with the latest Node.js and Python frameworks on Firebase. Last year, we announced an early preview of what we call Web Framework Awareness in Firebase Hosting. With Web Framework Awareness, you can easily deploy dynamic web frameworks, like Next.js and Angular Universal, with a single command, Firebase Deploy. When called, the CLI will detect which framework you're using, automatically run the build, generate a backing cloud function if one is required, and handle the entire deployment for you with minimal configuration. We've been hard at work enhancing these integrations and adding experimental support for new frameworks. Let's dive into all the exciting new features for web development in Firebase. Firebase Hosting now lets you deploy dynamic, full-stack web apps to preview channels so you can test your changes before deploying to production. Dynamic preview channels are made possible by our new support for atomic deployments. With atomic deployments, your server and client-side code are always in sync. Your front end, which runs on Firebase Hosting's CDN, and your back end, powered by cloud functions for Firebase second generation, are pinned to each other when you deploy. So if your back end deployment fails, your front end deployment fails too. And if you roll back your front end to a previous version, the back end will be rolled back to that version as well. Let's see this in action, James. All right, here we have a simple Next 13 app. We have a component that is serving a picture of a dog using image optimization. But as we all know, the internet was built to serve our feline friends. So let's fix this bug. And now we're going to deploy it to a preview channel for verification. Next image optimization trips the requirement for a backend. Before, we wouldn't have been able to preview this without affecting the production version of our site. And this seems to be working. And our production site remains untouched. If you're already using the early preview of our Web Framework Awareness and Dynamic Hosting, these atomic deployments will be enabled by default. If you're still going at your own and using rewrites, then you can opt in via Firebase JSON. Go to Hosting, set pin tags to true. This will only work for second generation functions, though. I have to say, I'm more of a dog person, but that's OK. The point is that we're investing in these modern full stack frameworks. We want to make sure you can leverage all the benefits and optimizations they bring to your web app. For example, we now have experimental support for React Server Components. React Server Components is a new application architecture designed by the React team. With React Server Components, you can combine the benefits of server-side rendering and client-side rendering to optimize performance, initial load times, and SEO. We're also excited to announce Firebase's preview support for Next.js and Angular internationalization rewrites, so you can serve different content depending on your end user's country or preferred language. In addition to internationalization rewrites, we now support image optimization for Angular and Next.js web apps. Image optimization speeds up your website's initial load time by only loading critical images and lazy loading the rest. To learn more about Angular's new image optimization support, check out what's new in Angular. James will show you how to piece these features together in your web app. Thanks, Julia. Let's check out our application. We've made a couple changes here. Now we have a React server component. It's pulling content with async await and using suspense in the render cycle. This will stream HTML to your end users as it comes in using a cloud function. This should really help with our Lighthouse score. We pre-render this component in English and Spanish. When deployed, the static content will be served right up from the CDN. We have our i18n configuration in nextconfig.js. Firebase Deploy will translate this into Firebase hosting rewrites for us. And if we're using domain-based internationalization, it will map them to Firebase hosting sites and deploy both at the same time. Back to you, Julia. We've heard from many of you that you love the Firebase Deploy developer experience. 
the abstraction of all the infrastructure and configuration required to build and run your web apps. While easy to use, Firebase hosting is also scalable and flexible. Our mission is to empower you all to build successful apps, and we're prepared to scale with you as your business grows. For example, as your app grows, you may need to balance CPU, memory, and concurrency to optimize performance. Firebase lets you customize these aspects of your backend, which is powered by cloud functions for Firebase second generation. You can also tweak the number of minimum and maximum instances, which regions you're deploying to, environment, configuration, and secrets, and connect your backend to virtual private clouds. All right, we'll go ahead and customize our backend in Firebase JSON. We'll start with min instances. This will make it so that our backend never completely spins down to zero and greatly reduce cold starts. It's time to go to production. Let's call Firebase Deploy, and it's building our app. Once we're done, it'll generate a cloud function backend for us. Here we see the reasons why a backend is needed printed on the console. This is great to know if you want to deploy your application as a fully static web app. And we're deploying both sites. Let's check out the English version. This looks good to me. And the Spanish, CBN. But say we did find something. Now that we're deploying both hosting and functions atomically, we could roll back both at the same time and be assured that our cloud function is serving the working version of our backend. Back to Julia. We've talked a lot about Next.js and Angular Universal, but Firebase Deploy works with many popular web frameworks. We're happy to announce that we've added experimental support for Astro and SvelteKit to our list of supported JavaScript frameworks. And guess what? We're not just a JavaScript hosting solution anymore. You can now run web apps with Python backends on Firebase with our new experimental support for Flask and Django. Dynamic hosting is powered by cloud functions for Firebase Gen 2, which just became generally available for Node.js and has preview support for Python. Check out Jeff and Daniel's cloud functions talk to learn more about what they've been up to. We've also added support for Flutter Web. The Firebase CLI will detect your Flutter projects, and when you call Firebase Deploy, your web target will be built for production and shipped to Firebase Hosting. Check out our talk, Evolving Flutter Support for Web. We've also been hard at work improving our existing integrations. We've upped our Next.js game with early preview support for Next 13, React server components, internationalization rewrites, backend logging, and middleware capabilities. We've enhanced our Angular Universal integration to support Angular 15, image optimization, and internationalization rewrites. Also, Firebase Deploy now integrates nicely with ng-deploy. We've also added experimental support for Nuxt 3, enabled fast dev mode to speed up local development for both Nuxt and Vite. With fast dev mode, your local server automatically refreshes to reflect the latest changes to your code without requiring a new build. And we're not done. We're eager to continue investing in this space. We're experimenting and iterating quickly, and we'd love to learn from you so we can continue to build developer tools that make your lives easier. So give our early preview of web frameworks awareness in Firebase hosting a try, and let us know what you think. If you have feedback or feature requests, please sign up to join our Google group to chat with us. Happy coding. Do check out the other great Firebase content here at I.O.